Hey guys, what's up? This is Jubimus here once again. Hey, what the hell? How did this dog get 2D? Man! Oh man, well, you know, I love 2D more than 3D as far as dog is concerned right here on Mac OS. You know, Mac OS Tiger had a great dog like the one as you can see in this video right here and you know, I also love the snow leopard dog and the leopard dog, but you know, I rather prefer the 2D dog because it looked kind of cool with the background. So, you know, I'm gonna show you how to change this dog and many more features in macOS with just a simple clicks and the best freeware program called Refinery. So, let's take a look at it. So guys, we're gonna be taking a look at Refinery for the Mac. Now, this is a free program and it's available to download the download link would be below and you know this is a very nice program that i found and uh, you have all the options here now this has absolutely no mistake in the coding so you can see here you have all the options such as dock finder system and applications you can change each and everything in your mac that is customizable almost each and everything with just simple clicks now when you go to dock and click on options you have the all the options that are available you have the positioning of the dock so you can have you know the 3d look and let's change it so you can see how i changed it to you know 2d so this is the regular dock that comes in and this is the one that i love the 2d effect of the dock and just restart the dock and it's 2d now you can have you know you can stick the dock to left edge right edge you can pin to start and center and all that good stuff you can add the minimizing effect at scale the sword the genie it's also available in the Mac OS, you know, uh, integrated system menu, but uh, you know, you might want to change it right here. And uh, you have all the other indicator options. You can change the dividers, icon, front line, background of the dock itself. So, you know, you can see uh, if the dock uh, is extra large, you can have this kind of background and all that good stuff. When we go to Finder, you have the sidebar icons, so you can change uh, the icons right here that are up here. So, you know, it's kind of cool. You can have all the customization that you need. And uh, in the systems menu, we have uh, each and every kind of option that you might want to need. You know, uh, there are many videos on YouTube showing how to change your login window background. And this one is, uh, you know, kind of standard background. You can also change this up if you want to. And, you know, it's kind of cool. You can change the crash reporter, that how it will act. You can add the screenshot shadows, and you know you can also change the location in which the screenshot is set. So, uh, likewise, let's take a screenshot here, and see the screenshot is saved on the desktop. You can also change the location if you want to. Let's move it to trash for now, and you know it's kind of cool. You can have the screenshot format changing and all that good stuff. You can also go to applications, and you can change the widget to wall so uh what this is you can also you know change the background of the widgets so when you click here this is the background of the widget it also it also shows each and everything by an example so you know this is kind of the best application and uh, you know for customization of the mac options and all that good stuff you can also change the safari you can also change the taskbar you can add or remove the developer menu you can change the options in mail and all the other options and I'm gonna I'm not gonna be going through each and every option right now but uh, one thing I want to show you is the restore option now you have this option which will restore each and everything that you have edited through refinery so if you are you know kind of worried about messing up anything so you probably won't and uh, if you want to get back again to the primary Mac OS menu so you know you can just click on restore and it would be done like uh, when we see here the gear menu we have the rest restart dock restart finder restart system interface server now uh this is the option that i found only on this software itself because uh, in many other softwares available for the customization of mac you have to restart the mac os again and again to you know customize some of the options uh, in which uh uh, in this software, which in this case is not the problem because you see it just uh, restarts the interface server So, you know, you have the new interface running up ahead of you and uh, here we have the option for restore This is a time machine looking icon. You have restore everything restore dock finder system and applications You know, it's kind of uh, everything pulled into one and we have uh, preferences now preferences are one of the most important things in any application because you can change each and everything available in the application 
from here but uh, this does not have uh, much of the preferences and uh, you know basically it has only one preference for updates and this is basically useless so you know automatically download new updates I'm gonna be selecting that one or I won't be and you know it's kind of cool it's a nice application it's available for free so you can download it right now I totally recommend this application and um, I will give it on 10 on 10 on Mac app reviews this is the first application receiving this uh, amount of score and uh, this is because there is no problem absolutely using this software this is simple this is amazing this is a graphical user interface you don't need to learn codes and all that good stuff and you don't need to use terminal you don't need to restart your Mac it would be done again and again right through the program so guys it's been Chip here and until the next time I'll be catching you later peace